Each year, Diabetes Minds selects a group of engaged advocates to join us for our Fall Innovation Days. We are so excited and honored to have these folks with us. Let's hear a word now from our 2024 Patient Voices Scholarship winners. Hello, my name is Melinda Mary. I'm a nurse, a diabetes educator, a mom, a grad student, and I live life with diabetes. Throughout both my personal and professional journeys, I've seen just how detrimental the financial impact of living life with diabetes can be. And that's why I focus my advocacy efforts on things like equity, access, and affordability. Hi, my name is Emily. My focus in diabetes advocacy is coaching other type ones, where we partner together to set and achieve goals. I consider the biggest challenge of living with diabetes to be the gap that exists between the personalized support and education that we need to thrive and the resources that are available in the current healthcare system. Hi, my name is Chelsea Hobson. I'm a registered nurse, published children's author, and type 1 diabetic of 22 years this November. Whoop whoop. My focus in diabetes advocacy is diversity and inclusivity. I consider the biggest challenge of living with diabetes to be the uniqueness, how it looks, feels, the treatments, it all varies greatly for each individual. Hi, my name is Basma. My focus in diabetes advocacy centers on confidence and empowerment by decoding complex medical jargon into accessible diabetes knowledge for all ages and backgrounds. I consider one of the biggest challenges of living with diabetes to be transition to adult endocrine care in the pediatric population. Hi, my name is Sabella Larkin. My focus in diabetes advocacy is to advocate for an integrative and holistic approach to healthcare reform, health equity, and diabetes management. I consider the biggest challenge of living with diabetes to be the fact that it impacts every single aspect of my life and that there is not a healthcare system in place to be able to support all of those needs. By removing barriers to access that we often have little to no control over, such as drug formularies, drug tiering, um, where we live, and even insurance status, we can build a future together where everyone living with diabetes has unrestricted access to the resources that they need to thrive, not to survive life with diabetes. I wish we had something to fill the gap. Access to coaches, providers who can spend more time to understand their patients, or devices or resources that empower us to understand and be confident in our management. I wish we had advanced array of educational materials and affordability of new technological advancements. I wish we had more standing hospital and clinic programs tailored to prepare our pediatric population transition to adult endocrinology care, and especially specific outreach programs help ensure that minority groups and people of color have the support to feel confident within adult care as well. I wish we had holistic universal health coverage that provided equitable access to resources, services, and support for people impacted by diabetes worldwide.